In this video, we will talking about how to configure high availability in root mode. High availability setup could help in ensuring minimal downtime, minimal interruption, minimal risk, and minimal loss. High availability has divided into two modes, which is active active and active standby. High availability is mainly used in scenarios where the NGAF working parallel. In this scenario, NGAF deploy in root mode and want to configure the high availability in active standby mode. Right hand side is the basic network topology for this scenario. Now you don't need to plug in the HA cable, just make sure you can log into the device. Log into active NGAF device. Go to Network, Interfaces. Check whether the LAN and one interface configure correctly or not. After that choose an empty interface to configure as HA interface. Create a zone name HA for manage purpose. Then assign a IP to this interface. Please take note that after enter the IP and net mask, need to add a dash HA to have HA attribute on this interface. Click on the OK button to save the interface configuration. Go to System, High Availability. Configure the basic settings. On the local device IP, choose the HA interface that we configured just now. If you didn't add the dash HA after the net mask, the interface will not show in the list. After that configure the peer device IP. For now we cannot test the connection because we not yet plug in the cable for HA port. Click the OK button to save the configuration. Now go to redundancy. First enable the HA options. After enable HA, add the VRRP group policy. For the VRID we will use 100, and priority for active device we set it to 100. Preemption is used to automatically switch to the active device when the active device is restored from fault. In this case we will enable the preemption. Device will change to fault if the member interface get down. Now add the member interface. Please take note on the member interface, if you add two or more interface at the same time to form a group, the relation for interface is AND. In another word, if you add two interface in a group and one of the interface get down, the device will not switch unless all interface in the group is down. If the interface configure like this, device will do switching if any interface get down. Tracked interface will switch as soon as a link failure is detected. If you have enabled the preemption, you cannot enable the tracked interface, else will cause the device to not switch after the interface link detection fails. Click on the OK button to save. Now go to Sync Options. Enable the synchronization. On the Sync object, choose the object that you want to sync to standby a device. In this case, we didn't use the OSPF, so we will not choose the OSPF route. Then click on the OK button to save the configuration. Log into standby NGAF device. Go to Network, Interfaces. Choose a interface to be the HA interface. Create a HA zone for manage purpose. After that assign our IP address. Don't forget to add the HO attribute after the net mask. Click on the OK button to save the configuration. Go to System, High Availability. Then configure the basic settings. Choose the local device IP that created just now. Then enter the peer device IP that we created earlier. Click on the OK button to save the configuration. Then go to Redundancy. Enable the HA option. Then add the VRRP policy. For the VRID, need to be the same with peer device. For the priority, set it as lower than the active device priority. For the preemption, do not enable on the standby device. Then add the member interface. Click on the OK button to save the configuration.
Go to Sync Options, then enable the synchronization. Choose the sync object that's same with active device. Then change the role of standby device from active controller to standby controller. Then click on the OK button to save the configuration. Now power off both active and standby device. After that plug in all the cables for both device. Then power on active device first. After active device has power on, then power on standby device. Please take note that boot sequence cannot be reversed, else the standby device's configuration will be synced to active device. Log into active NGAF device. You may check the current HS status on top right corner of the dashboard. Click the status, will redirect to HS configuration. You can see the current status here. If you want to access peer device, you may click on the manage peer device button. Log into the device. Here will show the peer device's HS status. Active device will sync the configuration to peer device soon. If the VRID and priority level is the same, even we enable preemption but it also will not preempt. Preemption and link state detection cannot be enabled at the same time. Both devices member interface must be configured to be the same. Do not use the bypass interface to do HA in order to avoid broadcast storm.